Hello everyone and welcome back to the 159th episode of the Top 5 Weekly. For those of you that are new here, this is a series where I take a look at the most popular workshop creations on Steam, analyze each one of the creations, discover their features and test them out here in Stormworks. But before we get started, if you are enjoying my videos, click on the like and subscribe button and while you're watching, let me know your thoughts of the creations in the comments below. So that all said, let's get straight into it and get started with this week's episode. And kicking this week's episode off with the first creation, we have the UNSC M12 Warthog. Now this is meant to be a light reconnaissance slash infantry fighting vehicle. It does have a machine gun on the back. We've got passenger seats, five of them. Uh, there's a whole bunch of equipment, including weapons on there. Um, and yeah, I mean, just looks really cool from the workshop. So let's go and spawn it and see how it works. And spawning in the truck, it's quite a big truck at that as you can see here and uh, what do we have so it looks like we've got a modular engine inside here with a winch at the front some lights and things uh what else obviously the main compartment there's our mounted machine gun here at the back so we'll test that out in a few minutes looks like we also have a connector here so we can possibly add a trailer or something uh to it is a fluid connector so i wonder if that is for refueling i don't think so uh, but we also have electric connector over there and another one over there so possibly some type of attachments the creator might have or it's just for detailing not too sure let's go and jump on the back of this so at the back we've got a bunch of seats here uh for passengers we've also got the machine gun it looks like this is the refueling here uh and this is recharging over here we do have yep hoses and cables we've got all machine guns and things all right let's test out this so we've got pivots WNS and then fire. Okay, I mean that's that's fine. Um, as you can tell, it's perfectly fine. I personally would have liked to seen an option maybe to use our cursor. It's like you press four or something and maybe tracks using your cursor. It makes it much easier for targeting, especially can you imagine if you're driving at a significant speed and you're trying to do targeting and things? Uh, it makes it much easier using a mouse control. That's a little improvement we would like to see there, possibly. Uh, what else do we have? Let's go into the seat over here. So passenger seat, which we got a push to talk radio, pistol, and that's about it. And then we've got a driving seat, which has got a disconnect. Okay, trailer, cool, engine on off. Headlights, winch and winch out. So that's the winch in the front. Headlights, cool. And that's pretty much about it uh, in terms of our controls. Wonder if this is the parking brake. No, okay. I think I was thinking that might move, but it doesn't. It doesn't look to at least. So parking brake is, I think, off. Not too sure. No indication of that hazard lights. Yep, hazard lights. Perfect. Gear up, gear down. I think we have the brake on. Let's take it off. Yes, we do. Okay, so it's manual geared. I'm correct. Yes, there we go. It's quite a few. Is that moving? It is moving. Ah, you see. I knew there was something there. Okay. Wow, we're actually going quite fast. I'm the third person for you guys. So we are max gear now, which is gear four. We are doing a very decent speed. Wow. Just absolutely cruising through. Oh, it's lifting up. Whoa. Okay, we got so much speed. It actually managed to lift itself off. So that possibly tells me there might be a little bit of a weight issue. It's a little bit... Or oh, it's just got too much power. I mean, the way you can kind of counter that is using some fins or maybe use some more weight in the front. I personally would use a probably control fin or something to keep it level. But, wow, that we must have been getting a lot of speed there. Let's just go back and see what type of speed we were doing. But, I mean, besides, everything else is really good. Handling is good. Oh, it looks like we also have a, um, on that gun at the back now, we also have a target or oh, crosshair. It does pull a little bit to the left. Uh, our speed, 180. Yep, so about 180 when we're it's pulling up like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, everything else is really cool. It does pull a little bit to the left, as you guys saw there, but I mean, you it's so minimal. So minimal. Steering is pretty good. Nice and stiff. I mean, you can do nice drifting like this with no issues at all. I like how reactive it is. Can you see see how it quickly goes left and right like that? I do like that. Yeah, this thing is looks like it's, it's it feels like it's very well planted to the ground. You can see how I'm going over these bumps at a good speed, and it's just sticking to the ground. 
So that is really good. Yeah, you can see even on that little jump there, no issues whatsoever. There, little one, but that's fine. So yeah, really cool creation. Really nice. I mean, a couple things to improve on here and there, but um, overall, I mean, really good. I think Grace has done a fantastic job. I also like the custom windows here. It's quite nice. Good job there too. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's move on to the next one for the episode. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the CG 36500 motor lifeboat. Now this is a 36 feet on lifeboat and uh, is apparently a recreation. The creator apparently fell in love with a movie uh, that this is featured in. Um, and yeah, it's recreated in Stormworks. So let's go and spawn and see how it works. And spawning in the creation, um, here in Freecam, just to give you a overall look at it. I mean, it looks really cool. I think the creator has done a really good job with some of the detailing around this. Not overdone, very nice and clean and simple. I love the wooden, like wooden windows here that the creator's going for. It's done a great job. Overall nice shape, really small. Let's go and jump on and see what's going on. So here at the back, not really much going on here actually. So we've got a engine compartment. Okay, so we can actually go into the engine room. Wow, looks like, uh, can I? Yes, I can. So we've got the main breaker, which we can get on, little engine here. We've got a crank start, fuel valve if we want that. Cool, and off we go. We can close that off. It is rocking quite a bit, isn't it? <laughs> we do have radio frequencies there if we want to. Wow, it is rocking all over the show. We do have a little helm, so the creators used um, the handle there, which is actually quite smart. I don't know why it's rocking this much. I mean, there's no wind or anything. Is it because I'm standing on it? Like, it's almost capsizing. I wonder if there's like any type of like anti-roll system inside there. Um, anyway, let's go and jump on it again, if I can. Let's just go up. I'm gonna go here. All right, we do have a little survivor compartment. Anything else that I should be looking at? No, let's go in here before it floods. Oh, close. Okay, I think we have almost capsized it. I could be wrong. We have a little light in here. All right, nav box, and that's pretty much about it. Uh, let's just go up here and try to get on this thing now. So if I jump here, WNS, yes. Well, that's pretty cool. I like that. Well, this thing's quick. does rock all over the show but once it's moving yeah once it's moving it's great uh nav lights is one you can do the nav lights are on currently at the moment mask lights on two yeah so once once it's moving it's much more stable in comparison to what it was when we were at the dock there i mean yeah it's pretty cool i like it I mean, the creator's done a great job with what they have uh, in Stormix. What's this here in the front? Probably just like a lookout part, yeah. Don't think that credit can do much in terms of the balancing. Uh, you do have a couple seats here and things. I would be worried though if I was putting someone there, just with the weight of the character and the balancing. I mean, as I said, once you're moving, it's fine, but I am slightly concerned, for example, that if we were to stop so if I just go here, turn this off. And imagine that I'm an NPC and I go and sit here. Oh, not stable. Oh, you can see it's starting. Yeah, I see it's going on the other side now. And then, yeah. So it, yeah, see, look. I wonder if that's because I got a little bit of water in that compartment there. But I don't know why does it you can see how it's kind of it's slow it starts off very slow and then kind of just keeps on oscillating and then gets stronger and stronger and stronger whereas now i'm completely under the water and i don't have any specific settings the wind's off i mean i imagine everything is fine in terms of settings i didn't see anything on the workshop either uh but all right yeah i mean besides that and the balancing issue i mean i don't know why is it why is it doing that anyway besides that i think it's really cool um maybe i don't, I don't think i did anything wrong but uh i mean everything should be fine there i mean can we spawn in again and try so i spawned in again 
Is it better this time? I'm just going to sit on that side there. No, it seems to... It seems to be picking up again. Oh well. Cool creation. I love the detailing. And I think the creator's done a fantastic job. I don't know about the rolling. Maybe the creator needs to have a look at that. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next one for the episode. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the Cruise Link. Uh, the Honor. The Flying Torpedo Boat. So apparently this is a, um alternative history World War II flying torpedo boat uh, the creator has made. Um, in terms of specs or features, we've got 12 bombs, we've got four aerial torpedoes, two light autocannons, uh, twin, mach uh, twin machine guns, we've got 20 mil autocannons. So quite a few cool things. It's quite a long starting up procedure, you know, so we'll see if we can follow that. Uh, but yeah, looks really cool. Let's go and spawn it and see how it works. And spawning in the creation, I mean, wow, this looks really cool. I think the creator's done a fantastic job, especially with the cockpit. I mean, wow, uh, those windows look really cool. Yeah, I think the creator's done a really good job. You can see this is all folded away. Uh, we've got our propellers, engines. We also have some type of like mount or stand for it, or I'm guessing so. All this here with all the wheels and things. Uh, and then once we take off, I'm guessing it detaches. I could be wrong. A little entrance way over there, possibly. A little rudder here at the back. When you're in the water. And yeah, it looks really cool. Hatch here. Open that up. Where's that take us? Uh, let's use this little handle and we can see if we can get inside here. Or try at least. Uh, it's a little bit tricky. Especially those small little handles are quite tricky to get through. Let's try again. I'm crouching, by the way. Yeah, there we go. Oh, perfect. Inside. Uh, so we're inside. I'm quite lost. So it looks like we got ammo. We go through here. I'm sorry there's no lights yet. We can jump through here. We have got ammo, ammo. And then the front mounted gunner. Oh, that's cool. Top of the turret, of one. Okay, nice. Whoa. All right. Oh, and you can reset it back. Okay, nice. Uh, back down here. Looks like we got a bunch of equipment inside here too. Um, we've got a hatch to go up into what I'm guessing is the cockpit. We will find out very soon. Nope. I can crouch, jump. Mm, not really. Uh, let's see if we can just go to a seat. There we go. And we'll come back to this. Uh, there? Yes. Okay. So here we are here at the moment. Uh, we're kind of like in this lower section, looks like. Yes. And then we've got the upper section. What's over here? Jump up here. What's over here? So we've got a navigator here, and then we've got the pilots down below us. Okay. We need to try somehow get down from here. I'm going to try and figure out how that can get done. It must be a seat or something that we can use, possibly. There we go. Uh, we do have another hatch, and this will probably take us, what, to bomb compartment, possibly? If I can get through it, let's try again. Jump. Jump. Jump to the right. Jump backwards. No. There we go. Forwards and jump at the same time. Uh, so what do we have inside here? So... Apologies for the lights again. There are no lights, or at least no switches that I can find to see just yet. I do have a little roof hatch here if we want it. Uh, some equipment. I'm guessing these are bombs. Yes, they are. We do have a dorsal. Okay, so the dorsal turret in here. That we can go up to if we want to. Or we can go down, which looks like some type of generator system. Uh, a bed here, another bed here. The other hatch on that side, another hatch there. A heater, some more ammo and things. And that's pretty much about all it all right i mean it's got quite a lot of things inside it detailing is nice inside too all right let's go we've got a flug boot pilot and then weapons operator so we'll try that guy first okay now remember i said there are quite a few starting up procedures so we'll try and follow that as best we can you can see the xml windows here that's why it's kind of like hazy you can see the haze there in comparison to this window that's because they're xml edited uh, all right, so let's test out what we need to do. So we need to get our engines one through four. So um, first off, nav lights, belt lights, cockpit lights, cabin lights, uh, guide lights. No, 
Flaps, no. No. Throttle, no. Engine, one, two, three, four. Happy days, we've got our torpedoes. Where are the torpedoes? Oh, there. Those are the torpedoes there. Either side. Uh, probably need some throttle, don't we? Uh, increase propeller collective to 100%. There we go. Increase throttle your own <laughs> discretion. Okay. So take off, uh, oh, so there's options here. So land take off versus water take off. So, okay, flaps if we want, then we don't have to. Full throttle, sure. And then we can also release this carriage. But well, first we need to unfold the wings. That could be quite useful. And apparently there's an option for us to release the carriage. There we go. And we also have the brakes for the carriage, which I just put on. What's okay. The wings were having a little bit of a party. Um, <laughs> Let's get the brakes off the carriage and let's get our throttle up. We have no flaps at the moment. See if we can get this thing to take off. Oh, look at this. I might actually might need some flaps. Put flaps on max. What do you mean a max? Three. Lift. Come on, lift. Look at that. Wow, that is cool. Let's get flaps back. Let's release this carriage. Bye-bye. Okay, and now we are completely waterbound for landings. Unless we can magically land back on that. Nice. Okay, uh, so we've got that on. We've got that on. We don't need the carriage anymore. Uh, happy days. Anything else? We've got flares, throttle. I mean, that's pretty much about it. Pressure controls locked. Alt hold. Two. Okay, so that's just a simple alt hold system. Nice. And that's it. I mean, very straightforward, actually. Um, cool, let's get that throttle just down a little bit. Get the engines a little bit more happier. Uh, let's go to the weapons operator. So we've got weapons operator, zoom, increase, decrease. All right. Right torpedo, left torpedo, cannon, forward cannon, toggle bombs. So, space, yes. Where are those? Oh, here, yeah, there's these guys. Can fire both of those forwards if we want to. Uh, we also have bombs, and then this would be our bomb site over here, if I'm correct. Drop those, which is space. Where do they come from? Oh, under the wings. Well, that's pretty cool. Very small little bombs, but nice. Let's see if I can watch them explode. There they go, and eventually should explode in a few seconds. Maybe not. We're too far now. Out. Uh, all right. Optimal bombing and torpedo throttle, 70%. Ah, okay. And then torpedo altitude sub 20 meters. Okay, well, we're not going to test our... I mean, actually, we could probably. Let's take our... Hold, hold off. We'll turn this thing. We'll drop a little bit low. So, very nice, this... And we'll go over land, we'll drop the torpedo off. It's handling quite well, actually. We're going to try and drop our... Would love it to turn a little bit more when I'm rolling, so that I don't have to use the rudder at the back. But we'll drop down our... Drop this nice and low. We'll get our alt hold on in a few seconds here. And we'll also try and land. I'm just going to clear this. It's fine. And we'll try and drop the torpedoes. It says about 20. We also need to get our throttle down to about 70%. There we go. Cool. We're going to jump over here. We're going to drop a torpedo. That's space. Boop. There it goes. <laughs> nice. Alright, it's already exploded. Okay, let's go back over here. Let's get our... Okay, and let's drop the next one. Did it fire? Hello? Oh, I need to press space, eh? There we go. Doop. Nice, and you can see it's actually going right next to us. Skimming the surface. Oh, that's cool. And Grace has done a great job. And drop some more bombs. You'll definitely see these ones explode. <laughs> okay, we definitely need to jump back in here. 
Um, what I would like to see though is the navigator. So that guy, he's over here somewhere. So let's just get our alt up. And then I'll get the alt hold on. Roughly around here would be fine, I think. Whoa, hello. I don't know what happened there. Oh, I went through the XML windows. Um, flares. Transponder. Activate transponder. Sun indicator. Radar system. So we've got a little radar system here. We've got a little monitor with a map on it. Uh, activate. Oh, we're about to crash. Yeah, we're about to crash. Um. <laughs> Actually, we might be fine. Uh. All right, and we're back in it. Uh, nice. I actually like how the creator's done the and the rope there. That's pretty cool. Okay, we are going to try to land this thing in the water, which means we're going to get our prop collective down, if I'm correct, probably. Let's see. So we're going to come down. We're going to decrease our prop collective. Nice and steady. That slowly get her down. You can hear the engines are revving up because we're getting rid of the collective. So full, and there we are. Nice. And then to take off, I mean, we should probably do flaps on full, and then we're going to increase our collective. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. That was a quick takeoff. I mean, lovely, I mean, lovely plane. I mean, the, I think the crater's done a fantastic job with this. Uh, everything is really actually quite easy. I thought it would be quite hard considering the, the startup list. Um, but I mean, once you get in and start using it, it's really easy to use. So yeah, great job to the crater. Uh, really good. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next one for the episode. And moving on to the next creation and actually the last two creations. For the episode, we have the UNSC Infinity Class Supercarrier. So all you Halo friends out there. Uh, this is meant to be the carrier itself. There is a bunch of features on this one. Uh, and we're going to be looking at the carrier and also the escape pod, which is two of the creations that actually made it into the top five this week. Um, so here, it looks like we've got cranes, we've got drop pods, we've got personal pods, we've got firearms, equipments, we've got all kinds of things inside here. I mean, wow. I don't even know where to start. I mean, this looks really cool. So let's go and spawn in and see how it works. And spawning in the creation, well, actually the creations. Uh, man, we've got the super carry here, which is absolutely massive. Uh, we've also got the little drop pod over here. Now, if I'm correct, there they are some inside here. These are two separate creations. They're both in one in the workshop, uh, top five. So we will check that out when we get inside here. Now, I think this is ideally meant to be spawned inside one of the docks. That's why it's got this big stand in it. Uh, it doesn't matter for us. I mean, we're, we will use our teleport no clip function, but I mean, just have a look at it from here. Wow. So a lot of things going on. We have this big compartment, which has got one of these buggies in from earlier. Yes, so that's one of the creations that we looked at earlier. Oh man, this is gonna be fun. Great, it's done a great job. There's little lights everywhere. Got some cannons here at the front. All right, uh, I don't even have where to start. I'm guessing we would get in over here, but I mean, you can imagine you would spawn this inside a dock. So, say maybe a hatch at the top somewhere that we would use. Possibly over here. So we're gonna stop over here. Uh, so we do have a side mounted machine gun. All right, which is up, down, left and right. Uh, let's go through this first hatch. Lights, do we have any automatic lights? Doesn't look like it. Something I probably would really recommend, especially in the creation this big, is to have some automatic lights of some sort. Uh, we've got a little some gunner. Yes, it's a gunner seat. Oh, well, yeah. So it's a gunner seat. Uh, probably nothing. Another gunner. Yes. Which one is that? I'm busy controlling. It's that guy. Ooh, that's the big rotary auto cannon. Which is not firing for some reason. Maybe no ammo? Who knows? Um, nothing listed on the seat. All right, let's carry on. Uh, I mean, we might miss a few things considering this is quite big. So mid area. Oh, this is the other side. Okay. 
Uh, and then we've got some compartments down there, which we have to go to. So mid area, we can go here, which takes us to take us down. Yes, it does. Okay, so that takes us down. And this brings us into what I'm guessing would be the crane. Yes. So we've got big hatch. That's the hatch over there. Okay, we've got small hatch. Don't know which one that is. We've got left, right, up, down, connect. Release, okay, so that's all the crane controls. Some ducks and things, we've got some hatches over there for us to go down. Okay, let's go down. What do we have? So inside here, it looks like we've got fuel behind us. We've got maintenance hatch, yes. Maintenance hatch. We've got a door that opens up into this compartment area. Here is that buggy that we spoke about earlier that can go through this little hatch. Ah, here's a small hatch and there's a big hatch. Those are the two ones that we were playing around with earlier. Looks like we've also got, is that containers of some sort? Yeah, fuel, fuel containers. Okay. We've got another boat. Wow, okay, we've got another two vehicles up here. That's pretty cool. So you could probably pick that up using the crane and then put them through the container or through that hatch. Um, oh, there's even, yeah, look, there's even hatches on the sides you could possibly use. Looks like more fuel here. We can go up here. What's in here? What is it? Where are we going to? So where are we? So we've got a main, another maintenance hatch. Uh, looks like a bunch of equipments inside here. We're at the top of this area. Uh, here's the, those ones. So you can open those up. Docking magnets. Okay, cool. Uh, what do we have through here? So another door that opens up. What is this guy to? Uh, looks like a bunch of equipment inside here. Uh, we have a, another possibly passageway. No, just a like an area. All right. I didn't see any of the escape pods yet. Possibly at the back. Um. Okay, and that's it. There's another hatch over here. Anything through here? No. Just another like area. All right. So we've checked out that. I might miss a few things, guys. I do apologize if I do. Uh, trying to look at everything. All right. So we're going to head towards here. And I think if I'm correct, we need to go up to this area and then up to this area. And this is where we were where we were here earlier. Okay, so this is where we stopped earlier on. Uh, we'll close that hatch and if we go up here, I think this is, yes. So this is our main area. So we've got a passenger seat here at the back, don't know what that does. Uh, we've got NA, okay, NA, okay. We've got some type of monitor, which has got left, map, right, NA, NA, light. There we go, map, okay. NA, 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 okay, zoom in and out. Nice light here at the top. Staircase that we came up from, and I'm guessing this is the main seats. Okay, where are these escape pods that charges? I feel like there might be something here at the back. Let's go and have a look. I do you want to find those? I almost feel like they're here. Oh yeah, they are here. They're here in the front. So how do we access that? Because we walked over this part. And we can see that this is all here. Ah, oh, there's some. Aha, there we go. So these are them over here. Cool. Get some lights on. We've got a bunch of seats in here. We've got monitor. We've got toggle button. Don't know what that toggle button does. I don't want to know. Uh, here's all of our escape pods slash drop pods and things. Ah, uh, okay. Cool, and you can get through them. So for example, if I'm correct, you can just go through here uh, and use the seat. There we go. And press one to drop. Hello? Did it open the door? I feel like it should have opened the door. Hello? We are currently stuck. I don't know what happened there. Maybe we need to be moving. Uh, let's try the second one. Press one. Yes, that one worked. That one worked perfectly. 
and as you can see there it goes apparently it will uh drop open the parachute when you obviously are a little bit higher in the air we're quite close to the ground so we came through this one so then how does the other one drop out is there like some type of rotating ah i think you can see here there's like this wait what happened to the second one? Oh, did it come out also yeah so the first one has to go then the second one comes across and then it also drops okay that makes a little bit more sense for me all right okay let's go into the flight controls up here okay so we've got monitor view in a camera a quick apu start sure nav oh no uh cruise no boosters no gyro yes flights yes main power yes okay <laughs> we have got all that on uh cool so we are flying by monitors and cameras that's perfectly fine we've got alt hold navigation systems and things like that uh we do have all of our systems up and running i think yeah pretty much good to go some radars that one's inverted um everything else yeah pretty much set to go Let's go and increase our collective, and there we are, up in the air. Very nice. Generally stable. I mean, it's going a little bit, a little bit finicky there. Come on, it should, it should get itself level now. It's still busting around a little bit. Um, annual APU start. Everything else looks fine. Let's do alt hold. Do I have to enter an alt for it? Let's do like 500. This looks like it's, yeah, it looks like it's stabilizing itself. Getting there. So a little bit like. Mm. It's getting there. It's this guy. Uh, only increase when he lifting heavy loads. Now, I don't want to increase that because we're not lifting heavy loads. Uh, aha, now we're stable. Perfect. So, something I must have done there. Um, hold current alt. Okay. Navigation on. So, we can set ourselves like a waypoint system, if I'm correct. And then we can throw the navigation on. Possibly. Oh, uh, we need to probably put cruise mode on. And then it will probably fly to that area. Navigation on. Let's take navigation off. I want to see how well this thing turns and things. So that's roll. And then this is your. Your is working. Nice. Alrighty. I mean, that's pretty much about it. I mean, there's nothing else really to show you guys. Um, I can think of it. I might have missed a few things. What was this thing for? I don't know. I guess nothing. Um, where does this go? Hmm. Where does this take us? I feel like I'm going to go down there and just... What's the... Hold on. Let's... Can I close this guy? There you go. Where does this take us? Where does this go? What's this thing? Is this another like escape hatch? It is! Captain's code. Don't know what the captain's code is. Apparently the code's 117. Thanks to whoever put that in the comments of the workshop page. <laughs> it doesn't say it on there, but okay. Uh, launch. Hey! That's that escape hatch or pod. Uh, and then we press that for the parachute. <laughs> nice so uh yeah cool creation i mean there's a lot to it and it's cool that it's got all those like little creations inside it and you can pretty much use it for whatever you want to use it for um i mean yeah it's really cool definitely deserves to be on the top of the workshop uh so guys we're going to end it over there as we always do and we have to do as always if you want to check out any of the creations that i have a look at in this episode uh, i will leave them linked in the video description below as always uh let me know what you guys thought of this week's top five and if you want to see any more videos make sure you are subscribed and hit the like button and until next week we will see you then